Give me a second, but uh, just don't make us do I, uh, it. What's that? <laughs> just don't make us do it. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, the, the weather. Wow, so it was smoky today. I was concerned whether we were going to get through today, but had a nice breeze and I think it helped. So, anyway, day three of the. Ooh, day three of a. Sorry, coach. Is this? Just needs to rest a little. Okay. Day three, uh, I thought was a really good day. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, when you're putting more information in, it, you know, you're still getting a good level of execution. You know, it's, uh, it's very pleasing to see. Uh, so I'm really, really been very happy with, with where these guys are. I think mentally they're, not, they're, they're, they're still very, very strong. Like if, like if, if it was still the first day, that's what I like. It's not uh, stay three days into it. There's still a lot of excitement. There's still a lot of, you know, uh, I guess them thinking about the prospects of the season. And uh, so the team is, is really in a good place from a mental standpoint. So uh, we're building on that. Um, you know, so it'll be day four tomorrow. We'll be in some shoulder pads tomorrow. Uh, so we'll get a little bit more banging. Um, hopefully these guys will just continue to try to take care of each other from a health standpoint with getting treatment while they can. And, you know, those are the things that kind of set you back when you don't start taking care of yourself and you go through all these practices. And I think our guys are, are understanding what that looks like. So uh, it's a really solid day. Uh, I thought the quarterbacks looked pretty impressive, both of them. Uh, making good decisions. I didn't see any poor decisions today. And good throws. Guys are making plays on the ball. And, you know, defense is making a few plays with tip balls, you know, becoming interceptions, which is just good too. You know, they should be. Uh, celebrating in those circumstances too, so uh, really good day. I was really pleased. Was there any thought of moving indoors because of the air quality? That did, it did, because I was concerned when I left the building. I, I kind of walked down around nine o'clock and I saw how gray and and I can even smell the smoke today more than the other days that we've had uh, to this point. And I was concerned about that, but I talked with Andrew and he's been keeping a monitor. He said early in the morning it was under a hundred, whatever they measure the air quality. And then at the start, we were like at 120 or 130, and I was like, wow, it, it, it kind of blew up there pretty quick. So we were concerned about that, but it wasn't at the point where we needed to come inside, so we stayed outside. You had a little bit of a bash unit there on the old line during spring ball. I know Frank Phillips taking a little while to get back. Casey Roddick and Chance Lytle, have those guys been able to get back in the mix? Chance is, is he's the one that's in the mix. He's been practicing. Um, he looks good. He's, he's still probably not 100%, but he's cleared to practice. And we're going to really be smart with his reps as we go forward. But he's, he is actually out there practicing. Um, and I think with Casey, Casey missed most of the spring because of, you know, the, the COVID issue and the, the things that he was dealing with from that standpoint. He just was cleared just the, the, the day prior to of camp. <laughs> You know, so it took that look, that lengthy time to, to get cleared. So he's transitioning his his time into play. So he's not quite practicing in, in any of the team reps. He's doing individual, and he's doing some work on the side with, with uh, our strength coaches. But in terms of those guys, you know, it was a mass unit in spring. They're, they are back. Some of them are at different levels of being back, but they are working their way back. Last year uh, at outside linebacker opposite Carson Wells, you guys took a bit of a committee approach with a number of guys cycling in. Uh, Joshua Gustav, Jamar Montgomery, Guy Thomas. Is there an opportunity heading into this season for, for one guy to, to maybe see the line share of the snaps, or do you, could you envision it uh, being more of a committee deal again this year? You know, that's a great question, and I think it's, it's really up to that group in terms of who wants to take it. You know, we, we think we're confident that we have the, the quality work of, of really good players in that's those spots. But it is a challenging and very competitive situation for them because if they want the job, they have to be con consistent, you know, much like what Carson is, and 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 really compete within that group because all three of those guys were counting on playing, but you know, none of them has separated themselves enough to warrant for him to be the mainstay, right? So really, I, that's, I like it, but whoever wants to, like you're asking, they need to have the most consistency and the most production and, and to match what Carson's doing on the other side. You know, if it doesn't quite add up that way, then we'll just continue to have the rotation. Yes, but it's a good situation, you know, because they've all gotten better. Joska and, you know, and Guy, guys, he's healthy and he's back from his, you know, his surgery and he's, you know, getting transitioned in and he's getting reps. 
you know, Jamar had a really good spring. You know, he got a little bit dinged uh, towards the end of spring with a concussion, but, you know, he, he was having a really good spring. So all three of those guys have great qualities, but no one's taken the job yet. So it's it's really up to them. Just out of my kind, I know, missed uh, the end of spring. How's he doing? And, doing and good. Then, and then yeah. How's that group? Kind of, you know, Makai and Christian obviously were the two last year. And how's that group behind? So Makai and then the rest. I'm, I've been pleased where Makai is. You know, he worked hard this this uh, this summer. You know, he's you know dealing with some ailments and you know wasn't anything surgically. He was just getting ready and you know dealing with some t- tendonitis and things like that. He looks good, very competitive. You know, Christian had a really good summer as well. Um, you know, we got those three, at the, and then we have. Uh, you know, Tyron Taylor, who had some time in the spring, really was coming on in the spring, and he looks good right now. And uh, we got the two other guys, the other two are freshmen that came in this, this summer. They're doing really well, you know. So, you know, Kalen and, and Nico, they're both uh, being, they're both very competitive, and they're in the mix. And, you know, Nigel Bethel's had a good spring, too. So we got, we have probably, Brian, more depth now than what we had a year ago, where we were just concerned about who we were going to play. You know, at corner, I think now we have at least a solid three deep on both sides. Carl, I know you, you've said in the past that uh, early on into camp, it's it's not uncommon to, for the defense to be a little bit more proficient than the offense. Um, is that the case at this point in time, or has it been a little bit more even between the offense and D? I would say it was it was that way in the spring, and and then the offense was was making some plays and kind of gaining some ground on them. Right now, it seems pretty even, you know, and that's I do like that because there's give and take on both sides. You know, defense came up with a couple turnovers today, you know, which I like. Uh, offense had a few plays today, which I like. You know, so uh, we're, we're, we're about pretty close to even in terms of that part of it, man. And that's what we want. We want to get good and take on both sides, keep it competitive. You know, we have we think our potential is really for us to be a, a really a, a very solid football team at the start of this season and hopefully getting better as we continue to progress. Uh, who forced the turnovers, if you're willing to tell us? We forced the turnovers. Yeah. One was a tip ball, and I think uh, so. I, I can't remember who the defensive lineman was. It was a tip ball at the line of scrimmage, and, and uh, I think Steel Dubar had the uh, interception. So you know he had one of them, and then uh, I think Anthony Lyle was the one that had another interception. Uh, you know, off, I think that was in the seven on seven drill. So uh, so they we're in the right places. I mean, that's that's when you know when your defense is getting better is when they start to be around the football and the ball's not caught, but it was a juggled, you know, catch that the receiver miss and you know, defensive backs in the right spot. You know, that was kinda how Anthony Lyles was. So uh, you know, we're 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 getting better. Definitely getting better. Chris, Chris Miller's kinda had a rough go at it here with the injuries. Have you had to kind of work on his morale and how is he doing? Absolutely not. Things? I mean he's you know, he, uh, you know, we're, we're transitioning him into full speed play, but he's getting a lot of reps and, you know, he, he knows our system. He's, he's, when he's on the field, he makes plays. So there is that, there's that, that, that lack of confidence or any wariness from that standpoint. He's been doing really well. You know, he's not cleared for full contact yet, but he's been able to do the seven on sevens and some of the teamwork. And, you know, he's making plays when he's around the ball. So I'm very pleased where he's at. And Mark Perry, another safety. Um, what are the expectations for him this season? Well, we have high expectations for all those guys. If they step on the field, we expect them to make plays. You know, and you know, Mark had a good spring. Um, you know, a lot of those guys. You know, he, he's he's one of those guys. I think he he did make a big big jump from where he was in the fall. So we expect him to continue to grow and, and, and to build. You know what he's what he was able to do this spring. You know, I has been a really solid player for us. You know, he's been very dependable and. You know, always doing the right things and getting people and helping people get lined up. So, you know, we feel good about, you know, where those guys are. You know, we have more depth this year than we had a year ago. We have a couple of young players that are trying to get in the mix. And, but I, I do feel that, uh, you know, that year two going into it with our, our current guys that played last year, they are got, they've gotten a lot better. They're, you know, they're, they're getting where they're savvy veterans. They're getting close. Has it been easier for, I guess, your guys really on both sides of the ball to learn I guess the playbook compared to last year, kind of a. I would say no, here. because okay. last year we gave them just a very generic. You know, remember we had that shortened season, and I didn't know when we were going to training camp until like a week before we were going to training camp, and you know we had to decide on doing probably about 30, 40 percent of uh, what we normally would do. So I would say now that we've had a full off season, we had training, we had spring, we had summer. 
we're throwing the whole enchilada <laughs> at them. So it's not easier. No, it's definitely not easier. But these guys have a great feel of, the, of what our system feels and looks like. And I think they're, they're digesting the information as we move forward. And they're doing a pretty good job. Thanks, Coach.